how much do you love yourself? Because if you understand the value of self-love, you'll never be friends with those type of people. Most of the people out here are running around empty. They have no sense of self, no sense of self-love. When I say self-love, it has nothing to do with celebrity, money, materialistic things, and all of the things that your negative mind could probably go to. It has nothing to do with self-love, has nothing to do with looks, nothing to do with cars and any of the superficial things that one would assume that could make you love yourself even more. It's a matter of knowing your value. It's a matter of you saying, I don't have to be around these people in these type of environments and situations in order for me to finally see the value in myself. I love me independent of you loving me. I believe in me. I know my self-worth. I know clearly that I'm a child of God and God has a purpose over my life and if he didn't, I wouldn't be here anymore. I am here and I have a purpose. There is no value in having wisdom, knowledge, insight, spirituality, love, Every day, I am a work in progress. Self-love is the cure to self-hate. I don't like you, I don't trust you, and I know you talking shit about me from behind my back. Why would anybody who truly loves themselves hang out with or mess with those type of people. Now here are the worst type of people in the world to me. The people who literally hate your guts and dislike you and you don't have a clue that they feel this way about you because they're able to co cover up all of their malicious energy and intentions towards you without giving you no trace that they don't fuck with you. And then when you finally find out, you're like, oh shit. You've been saying this and doing this and you feel this way about me? I had no clue. But when people show you who they are and you see it to the point where you're able to talk about it, can you believe what she said about me? Can you believe that? And you're able to talk about it. Then you get an invite from this same person that you was just sitting over dinner crying about the following week and you show up. You don't love yourself for you to be hanging out with these type of people. Nobody who loves themselves would ever entertain the idea of ever fucking with these people. I love myself. I've worked too hard for all of these years to hang out with somebody that's talking about flipping 5,000 and turning into 15,000. So guess what, homie? Go get your money. Go do whatever you got to do to double and triple your paper. I'm out of here. Because I don't want to be on the receiving end of whatever those consequences are that may come from you doing whatever it is that you're doing. And y'all know plenty of those type of people. They doing all of the negative, crazy, and dysfunctional shit every single day. All of the women, they jealous and envious of you. They talk all of this shit about every girl and everything they're doing, who they dating, who they sleeping with. You don't think they talking about you? Are you that special to where all of your homegirls talk shit about everybody and you don't think they talking about you? So when people show you who they are, you got to believe it. And you have to make the adjustments according to all of these things that are revealed to you and your family is mean, evil, spiteful, condescending and messed up. But you're so desperate for the validation. That's my family, you know what I'm saying? You know, I know they be mean talking about me and my wife and my kids and they all mean and fucked up, but you know that's family, right? That's family? 
that's family. Oh, so they're allowed to tear you down because it's family. Hmm. Doing cuts me even deeper because we actually have the same blood in our bloodstream. I would much rather a random person in the street talk shit about me and tear me down than my own family. I love me. I see the value in me. And I have to be careful of who and what I give emotional access to me. My daughter has gave me a bottom line. My daughter has created new standards for me. My daughter has changed my life forever. I didn't know what love was until she got here. What does that mean? It means that you will never see me in a random club. You will never see me at dinner if my dinner isn't purpose driven. You will never see me hanging out or doing anything with anybody. I don't care who you are, how much money you're worth. I have visions, I have ideas, and I have goals. Now, I believe in connecting with people on a human level, but I am very mission and goal oriented. That's who I am. And you can't get to the next level with all of the devils that you have in your life. You got so many negative, mean, evil, malicious, and dysfunctional people in your life and around your circles. This is the reason why you can't clear out the clutter and get to the next level. Self-love is the cure to self-hate. I'll say it again. Self-love is the cure to self-hate.